This is a guide on replacing an LCD screen on Acer Aspire S3 Ultrabook. Make sure to disconnect the power adapter before disassembly. The battery on this laptop is not easily removable. Make sure to not accidentally power on the laptop during installation. There are no screws holding the bezel in place, so you can go ahead and pry open the bezel from the screen. Please be careful to not damage the plastic tabs underneath. Make sure you pull only from the inner edge of the bezel. Go around the perimeter of the display assembly, unsnapping the bezel, then set it aside. Disconnect the video cable from the screen using a flat screwdriver. Gently separate the video cable from the aluminum tape. It is glued in place. Make sure to not damage the video cable. The screen on the S3 is secured in place with aluminum tape, running the entire perimeter of the LCD. Start separating the aluminum tape from the top left corner. Go slow. The tape will need to be reused for the installation of the new LCD. Be extra careful on the bottom edge. Take your time if the adhesive is separating slowly. Now the screen can be removed. Gently bend out the LCD from the back cover at the top right corner. Then, bend out the screen forward. Take extra time on the bottom edge, where the LCD driver board is glued to the back cover. Remove the old LCD. The new screen can now be installed. Bend out the protective film tabs on the new screen. Set the screen in place, then remove the protective film. Apply some pressure on the LCD driver board to adhere it to the back cover and ensure the top edges are snapped in as well. Reapply the aluminum tape around the perimeter. Make sure no tape is protruding into the visible part of the screen. It helps to stretch out the tape from one corner to another, apply the corners, then apply pressure midway. Repeat the same procedure for all edges. Reconnect the video cable the connector will make a distinct click when aligned and plugged in properly. At this point, the new screen can be tested. Reconnect the power adapter and press the power button. If the startup graphics appear, the new screen is working successfully. Hold the power button for a few seconds to cancel the boot up. Reinstall the bezel by aligning it at the bottom edge, then snap in all around the perimeter. Reconnect the power, turn the computer on, and you're done.